The Art Deco Delight CD runs off Adobe Acrobat Reader. Once you've got that installed, most computers have it pre-installed on it, um, you can now ready to go through the CD and begin by going through the standard terms and conditions here and then click onto the continue button. This now takes us to the main menu. We've got lots of lovely exciting things for you here. Just a quick uh, note before we move on is that there's two little buttons at the top either side. The first one is the help menu which does cover an awful lot of problems, silly little things that go wrong so it's well worth checking that if you if you encounter a small problem. You shouldn't do but if you do please make that your first port of call. We've also got a downloads button here so any extras in the future that may come along that will link direct to the internet providing you have an internet connection take you to a special page on the website that you can only access through here and you'll be able to download any extras or just have a look if there's any updates or anything going on. Okay so that's sort of some of the technical stuff out of the side. And this is where the fun begins. This is an absolutely fantastic CD-ROM. And I'd like to very quickly now just guide you through the main elements that you'll find on it. We'll start with the backing papers. And again, this is very simple to use. All you have to do is point and click. So click onto where you want to go. And we can see now a range of beautiful backing papers coming up. The first one here, which I'd like to very quickly run you through, is called the Art Deco Florals. So we'll click onto that and that will now take us to this section here. Again, there's three particular sections. So we just click onto one, let's see the first one here. And you can see this absolutely fantastic range of papers now in a, certain, in a range of colors. So if I say, for example, choose the purple, I can click onto that. And you can now see all the variations of this paper. So we have uh, white out of purple, purple on white, purple on blue, and so on. Click the return to go back. Purple on yellow, purple on red. Some colors work better than others, but I've given you every single one because you may want something like this, which is a quite a muted color, or actually this, which I think works particularly well, like purple on black. So just going back through each of these, uh, per, each of these will have palettes, or have a palette of color associated with it. So this again, it's our sort of ruby or wine color. You'll also notice that we've got a tint button. So if we click onto there, you can now get a tint of each of the colors as well, which I think is a really useful technique, especially if you're matting and layering. Now all of these colors will absolutely line up perfectly with each other as well. I think that's an important point to make. And our second set just takes another look at the, from the world of Art Deco, just as it was changing from Art Nouveau to Art Deco. And again, a beautiful range of colors here and papers for you. Now, although you won't be able to see it on the screen here, the background color has a very slight uh, felt effect to it to give the paper e an even more sort of scrumptious feel when it's printed. And last but not least, we have what I call the Art Deco Roses selection here. And again, I've just chosen the purple one. And we can see we've got a beautiful range of papers. Um, going back now, if we have a look here onto this section, we've got nine sets. Yes, that's right, nine sets of paper. And these are our sort of more traditional Art Deco, but with some other lovely things in there. So let me just pick at random some colors here and you can see the different sets of papers and each one comes in a range of tints. This one is actually reversed out which makes a really nice and exciting uh, matte and layering technique with it. Now that's just one of nine. We've got I said, various sections. There's some quite exciting things on here. Um, in the deco period they were quite interested in insects so this is I think a really beautiful stunning and unusual paper that we've got here and uh, based on our dragonflies. And you can see there's a range of different backgrounds and colors for it. And each of these, again, comes in a tint as well. So there's really a, quite a mouth-watering range. And in, in all honesty, I probably don't have time to, to run through all of it with you. But we can see we've got from floral to very traditional art deco in here. Some really fantastic range of, of papers from, again, our, our insects through to our roses and through to something a little bit more uh, avant-garde. And again, back to the insect theme as well. All 
areas from the Art Deco period that were very, very popular at the time. And of course, we've got our sort of traditional Art Deco papers as well. Remembering all of these will now um, color coordinate with the main images as well. A couple of other things in here, we've got our digital ribbon. So if we click onto that, you can, if you've got Adobe Read 8 or above, type in your own message here and change the typeface um, and style so you can add various messages. And we've got some inserts as well. So if you click onto the inserts, you can type your message here, just print it, then run it through the printer twice, once onto the paper that you want and use a tinted paper, then just type your message in there. And that comes in A5 landscape, A6 and A6 landscape as well. Now, if we click on to return, let's have a look at the decoupage images. These are just absolutely beautiful. I've based these, I've drawn them and painted them based on original uh, sort of mid-20s artwork based on the models at the time, models and dresses of the Art Deco period. I think when it was at its real uh, pinnacle. And we can see now you've got a range of beautiful ladies. Let me just pick one out of uh, random here for you. They come in uh, really three sizes. The large one is suited for the design of A5 cards and the smaller one for A6. And then we've got this in-between range because you could build up a group of ladies if you like to. Well, you could do that with any of them if you want to, but that was just theirs as an extra. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them come with what we call color variations. So you can see the main elements on the lady can just have these parts stuck over. So you can color coordinate them as well if you want, and that should match quite nicely. Um, just picking some out at random, you can see here the decoupage is all done for you. You can just take it to the layers that you want to. You don't have to do all of them if you don't want to. I've also designed it that if you want to save ink or paper, the first part, the A5, will print to the halfway point, and you can stop your printer. Or you can then tell it to set the other way around and then print from the other side and just simply... Uh, stop it if you want to. But I would suggest printing the whole page and then keeping the other parts uh, in a little reference file for later on. So you can see here we've got, as I said, this sort of beautiful range of very elegant Art Deco ladies that go to make up some very beautiful cards. And if I just return, I've got the second section here, again with a range of colours. And finally down here we have some larger ones as well. And if you click onto the small set, each of those come again in another two sizes, so A5, A6, and an in-between size for you there as well. Just coming back, you've also got on here beautiful line drawings. Remember, all these images, barring the papers, all the Art Deco ladies come on a JPEG file for you. So you can use these to create your own images with in graphics packages and drop your own colours in if you want to. And I've taken six here for you to use. Now we've also got cameos. They come in a circle and in our Art Deco frame there. And again, these are designed to work if we just click on one, A5 and A6 view there. But they can be mixed and matched and used accordingly. And as I said, they, they come also in the Art Deco style frame here. So you could use this as an A5 landscape or portrait, A6 card landscape or portrait. Uh, a beautiful selection of images on here. They're some of my favourite. I'd love to show you some of these sort of Art Deco type rooms as well. You'll notice these come in a tint. That's because really you want the ladies, the Art Deco ladies, if you're building those up in front, to be the main focal point of attention. And these are just sort of, as I said, as a background. And then matte and layering with the card, uh, with your backing papers, will produce some absolutely beautiful and stunning cards. Uh, we've got a range of frames for you here, large, medium and small, for you can print out and design your own cards with. And we've got some embellishments. We've got a set of dogs that will fit with the various ladies there that you can use. I just put in a piece of card or draw a lead in for them if you want it. Some nice Art Deco cards, um, some quite beautiful papers here, just some random ones thrown in. And we've got a few leaves, uh, leaves, some uh, feathers, peacock feathers, and last but not least, our templates here to make the boxes and bags. So there we go, that's a very quick overview of what you'll find on the CD-ROM. I think this is absolutely beautiful. The papers alone, there's over 600 papers. Um, you'll have hours and hours of fun with this. It's based on the history series, it won't date, and you'll make some really beautiful cards with it.